I don't know about you all, but it feels like racing games have become incredibly formulaic. I mean, I know there's not much to innovate on here, but a man can only play Forza Horizon so many times. Maybe I'm just over nostalgic, but those older racing games just had so much character in my opinion. Need for Speed Most Wanted had incredible car customization, an open world, and police chases. Not to mention very dated, very mid-2000s level cutscenes. First I'm gonna take your ride, then I'm gonna take your girl. Get ready for that. That were recorded by real actors for some reason. Crazy Taxi had us fighting for our lives just to get a 5 star Uber rating. Even The Simpsons dipped into racing, with the iconic but challenging hit and run. A weird cross between GTA and Crazy Taxi. Not to mention my personal favorite racing game, Burnout Paradise. Released in 2008, this gem of an open world racing game was the 7th installment in the Burnout franchise, and represented a pretty huge departure from the previous games. To my knowledge, it was the first and only Burnout game to be fully open world, allowing the player to cruise anywhere throughout Paradise City. Burnout has always been a game about pretty much driving as dangerous, as recklessly, and as fast as humanly possible, and that's made incredibly easy thanks to its forgiving arcade physics. There were pretty much modes that just incentivize the player to crash and essentially cause as much mayhem as humanly possible. Getting into Burnout Paradise, the objective is quite simple really. Win races to upgrade your license and unlock new cars. That's really all you're told before being given a beater car and sent on your way. But there's a lot that makes this game truly special, starting with the different events you can complete and how they function. Every single intersection of Paradise City has an event you can start by doing, well, a burnout. Every race will have you making a mad dash to one of the eight finish lines on the map. And what's cool is that the game doesn't really force you to take one path. You can take whatever route you want, although you do get turn signals that kind of guide you on where you should probably turn. Pretty standard stuff really, but combine that with the fast-paced, responsive, and arcadey driving physics the series is known for, and it makes for an incredibly fun time. Bobbing and weaving past traffic and drifting around tight corners feels amazing, and unlike games like Forza, you can actually crash your car. The crash cameras blew my mind as a kid. Watching your car crumple up in slow motion and flip around as bits and pieces fly off of it is just great. Fun fact, most games that used licensed car companies actually are not allowed to include crash physics like in Burnout or BeamNG. But in Burnout, you're pretty much incentivized to take down your opponents to get ahead. Of course, racing isn't the only event type here. There's Road Rage, where you have to get a specific number of takedowns to win. This is pretty much how people drive in Toronto. Stunt Run, where you have to get a target score by performing and chaining together different stunts like drifts, jumps, spins, or rolls, that kind of thing. Burning routes, where you have to race against the clock. What's really cool about those is that each vehicle has its own burning route that unlocks a new custom version of that car when completed. My personal favorite though has to be Marked Man. Essentially, you have to drive to your destination while other opponents continuously try to take you down. And if your car gets taken down enough times, you'll lose. Using a bigger, more aggressive car makes this event pretty easy, but using a smaller, more race-oriented car becomes much more of a chase. Opponents can really push you around and pretty much bully you, which is great. What's really cool though is how you can unlock cars in this game. Essentially, after winning a certain amount of events, a new car will pop up in Paradise City. To unlock it for yourself, you have to hunt it down in the open world and take it down. Sometimes that can be pretty easy, but usually you'll have to chase them down. That gameplay element just isn't something I've seen in a game since, and it adds a lot of character to the open world. It's like Pokemon, but with cars almost. After you take down and capture that wild car, it'll end up in a junkyard, which is where you go to swap cars. Well, there's no real customization other than picking a color, the sheer variety of cars you can unlock and choose from is incredible. From F1 cars that are extremely nimble and fast, but incredibly weak, to armored vans that are absolute tanks. Each vehicle has their own strengths. There are three different types of cars that dictate how you earn and use boost. Aggression earns boost through takedowns and general destruction, whereas stunt cars gain boost from performing stunts like drifts. My personal favorite type being speed, as if you use all of your boost at one time, it'll fully resupply, essentially letting you hold the boost button forever, or at least until you crash horrifically. This game is just such a blast, especially when you play online. I have so many great memories of just dicking around with my friends in free roam. All of this pairs incredibly well with the soundtrack, which is just full of so many bangers. Everything from Guns N' Roses to Mozart to Avril Lavigne is just so, so nostalgic. There's just nothing better than crashing into a minivan with a family of five while Avril Lavigne's girlfriend plays in the background. <laughs> 
You just don't see racing games with this much character anymore, really. And while Criterion, the creators of Burnout, are now working on Need for Speed, a lot of the old devs that worked on the old Burnout series are no longer working there, and that absence really shows in their newer games. The last Need for Speed, Unbound, wasn't horrible, but ironically it was pretty restrictive. I really think Burnout Paradise deserves a new game, or even the older Burnouts. Let me know in the comments what you all think. Have you played Burnout? Did you prefer the older, more linear games? Let me know. That's about all I have to say, so until next time, see ya.